Say on television, don't go away, we'll be back. Good afternoon. This works. Can you hear me? Yeah. Good afternoon and welcome to the official part of award presentation ceremonies of the 29th Colorado Mathematical Olympiad. Um, a few people could not come here in person, but uh, they sent uh, us their letters. So let me read them for you. Greetings. On behalf of the people of Colorado, I would like to congratulate the winners of the 29th annual Colorado Math Olympiad hosted by the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. Winning this competition is a testament to your hard work and academic dedication and speaks volumes about your skill and ability in the area of mathematics. This honor bestowed upon you will give confidence to others and your continued leadership will ensure a successful future. Again, congratulations on this recognition. You have my best wishes now and in the years to come. Sincerely, John Hickenlooper, Governor, State of Colorado. <laughs> Next letter I will, I will open right now. Just got it yesterday. You know, like in that place in Los Angeles, and the winner is? <laughs> Dear Mathematical Olympians, I sincerely regret not being able to be with you in person today for your award presentation ceremony. And I, think, uh, you, and I thank you for the invitation to speak. I obtained my undergraduate degree from UCCS in accounting and finance and my master's degree in public administration. I have always found the UCCS community to be vivacious and full of innovators and bright minds. The group gathered today represents just that. Math is a vital skill and each of you demonstrates that it can be fun and challenging at the same time. I use math every day and I commend you for your skills. As a nation and as a state, we have come a long way in the field of math education and I have no doubt that with kids like you and teachers like Professor Seufer, we will eventually make the US first in math and science education. Your brilliant minds are sure to create a vibrant and successful future for yourselves and those to come after you. Congratulations on all your achievements. I am, as always, sincerely yours, John P. Morse, Senate Majority Leader. And one more letter. <clears throat> Dear Professor Seufer, this letter serves to congratulate the Colorado Mathematical Olympiad award winners on their great achievement. They should be commended for their efforts. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM, core competencies are an essence piece to any community that seeks to grow and thrive. These students excel in an area that is of great importance to them and to the future fiscal sustainability of our city. In your 29 uh, competition year, your, uh, you continue to celebrate and cultivate this community's future leaders. It is an invaluable contribution to our youth and to our citizens. We, uh, well done 
to all of the competitors in the 29th Colorado Mathematical Olympiad, and congratulations to award winners. Regards, Steve Bach, Mayor, the City of Colorado Springs. <laughs> Now it is my truly great pleasure to introduce to you the chancellor of this campus, uh, Pamela uh, Shokli Zalabak, who has been a staunch supporter of the Olympiad now for more than 10 years. Well, it's my pleasure to welcome all of you to UCCS, but mostly to congratulate you to congratulate the students, first of all, the family members, and the teachers. It has been my pleasure to work with the Math Olympiad actually for more than 10 years, even before I was chancellor, and realize that these types of exciting competitions help young people, but also help their parents and their grandparents and their siblings understand that the excitement of the STEM fields of which math is, of course, fundamental, really is so much today and tomorrow's future. And I know that it takes effort to support people through sometimes challenging experiences, such as a competition of this nature. I also know, now that we have had literally thousands of students through these competitions, that in tracking what they do with their careers and their other educational opportunities, we know that this is an indicator of your future success. So thank you. Congratulations to our students. Thank you to our parents and teachers. And it's an exciting time to be able to be part of the awards ceremony. Our next speaker is uh, uh, Todd Morse, Executive Director of Learning Services from the Air Academy School District 20. Air Academy District has been one of the sponsors of Colorado Math Olympiad ever since 1986. Thank you. Um, well, what an honor it is to be here. Let me tell you just a real quick piece. Uh, I'm 50 years old, and way back when I started, this was starting 1986, and I was a, had the pleasure of teaching Pete Rao, who was the first uh, first winner. So, uh, a great history, and, and and absolutely proud to be here. I taught uh, physics and math for 20 years, and uh, and uh, I've been uh, building administrator for five, and I have five children. Now, I want to try something with most audiences talking about that. I might have to ask for a, do you see a, a theme there? But this group I know I can ask and get an appropriate response. What's the greatest common factor in what I shared with you? 50, 20, 5, come on. There it is. A Fugel Hansen. It's 5. Greatest common factor, right? Well, the common factor that brings us here today is a passion for mathematics. And uh, I certainly have that uh, in, uh, in me, and uh, a few of my kids have that. And I'm so, so excited to be here, a place where we're celebrating that passion, celebrating that skill, and giving you an opportunity to, to go beyond um, with that. And uh, congratulations for endeavoring to do that. Uh, I want to uh, just encourage you to continue to pursue mathematics, pursue your passions, and with the greatest, greatest zeal that you can. And I uh, want to thank uh, UCCS and all the sponsors for providing this opportunity for you to, to pursue and hone those skills. So congratulations. Proud to be here today. Thanks. Let me tell you something that you may not know. When I was considering of starting this Colorado Math Olympiad, uh, the first uh, person that I contacted was Ann Thrasher, who occupied precisely the same position that Dave Sotel occupies now. <clears throat> she was mathematics coordinator of District 11. And I asked her, should we do it? 
And she said, why don't you meet with five chairs of five high school meeting of my school district 11? And I met, I entered that room, and five people, non-smiling, were looking at me. <coughs> and their faces were t sending a message, what is it this professor wants out of us? <coughs> and I started explaining what I want and what I envision and how Mathematics Olympiad changed my life when at 14 I chose mathematics over music and uh, so I became a mathematician. It, it's not better, just different. And so after an hour of that meeting, all five chairs were smiling, pledging their support, and in a sense Olympiad was born. And I've known Dave for, I don't know, what, 30 years uh, or so as a chair of Palmer Mathematics Department and many of his students won here. And so it's a real pleasure to introduce Dave Sotel, mathematician, math coordinator of District 11 that has been sponsored since 1986. Thank you, good afternoon. It's a, it is a pleasure to be here, and I bring you congratulations from our superintendent, Dr. Nicholas Gledich, and our assistant superintendent for instruction and curriculum, uh, Dr. Janice Swift, and they apologize that they can't attend this afternoon. Uh, as Alex pointed out, I've got a, a long history with the Olympiad and, and many fond memories as an advanced placement teacher and an international baccalaureate teacher at Palmer uh, of the many students that have come back to me uh, sometimes on that very Friday afternoon, or at least that next Monday, uh, very excited and, and uh, ready to talk about the, the five problems that they worked on the, that, previous, that previous Friday. I had the pleasure of being able to break away this afternoon and uh, attend uh, Dr. Seufer's lecture on the, the journey that he took from the fifth problem in the, uh, in the contest this year to a, a generalization. To, uh, to end space. And one of the most in significant and impactful things that ever happened in, in my career, uh, in my studies, was a, a, a professor that I had, Dr. Donald Small, uh, at Colby College. And he presented with me a, a problem that a, another student had been messing around with regarding a binomial coefficient expression. Uh, a certain expression in, in a binomial coefficient now remember, binomial coefficients are, are basically those things that appear in Pascal's triangle. And they, they took uh, that binomial coefficient and, and they did a, an operation called modulo. And so this binomial coefficient expression, modulo m. And I went on a journey of investigating that and trying to solve that problem and it turned into a solution where I took the entire Pascal's triangle modulo m and I, I was able to capture what the periodicity was uh, down, down certain columns or rows in, in that Pascal's triangle. It was a very meaningful uh, uh, experience for me. And I was brought back to that, to the opportunity that you have here with Math Olympiad problems and, and that same sort of journey as Dr. Seufer modeled for you this afternoon. So. Uh, like Todd, I encourage you in, uh, c continue to pursue these sorts of problems, look for opportunities to generalize them, and, uh, and uh, you have the opportunity of understanding what mathematics is beyond the textbook here, what it is as an art and as a science. So congratulations. Uh, I look forward to uh, meeting you all in person. I think it's the first time in 29 years that our two Colorado Springs major school districts, uh, Air Academy and Colorado Springs, are represented by two mathematicians. It's, it's sweet, it's special. Thank you, Todd, and thank you, Dave. They know what they're supporting, you know? Uh, and that's great. Now I want to introduce a non-mathematician He's just a physicist, <coughs> but physicist with a doctorate from Cornell, which is pretty decent college, 
uh, on the East Coast. <laughs> and uh, my dean for a number of days more, but also for what, seven, eight years? Mm -hmm. For seven, eight years past. And uh, honestly, honestly, the best dean I have ever had on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Now I can say that because he's stepping down to be professor, to do research, to do teaching, and uh, I can't argue with his choices. Uh, Tom Christensen, Chair of Arts and Sciences. I'm sorry, Dean of, dean of Arts and Sciences. Thank you, Alex. By this time, just about everything has been said. So let me just share with you a quote from a Greek Neoplatonist philosopher. We'll go back to the fifth century and the philosopher Proclus. This, therefore, is mathematics. She reminds you of the invisible forms of the soul. She gives life to her own discoveries. She awakens the mind and purifies the intellect. She brings to light our intrinsic ideas. She abolishes oblivion and ignorance, which are ours by birth. Think about that when you're doing your next math homework. Thank you. I met with uh, Greg Hoffman, I don't know, but uh, what, over 20 years ago or so, in Fountain, Colorado. You know that place? It was famous then. It had Apple computer, Apple, iPhone, iPad, two, three, four, I don't know. Just like Rocky series, iPhones monopolized the world and Greg was their chief of staff. And we met and he looked at me with this similar suspicion to teachers of District 11, to chairs of District 11 at first. But after a conversation, he pledged his support, and he supported Colorado Math Olympiad in every of several uh, big companies that he represented, currently Intermap Technologies. Greg Hoffman. Thanks, Alex. It really does give me uh, a great honor and it's it's a great privilege for me to be able to stand here really as kind of the technology representative as i as i met alex, uh, alex uh, years ago and we've 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 gone back and forth uh, through the years it really is important that uh, education uh, continue to partner with technology so i i come before you as someone who is um, day day in and day out worried about the human uh, capital that we have on the technology side. And I can tell you just from my own personal experience and working for some very um, interesting and progressive technology companies that it becomes harder and harder for us to find the kind of uh, real competency base and skills, the creative skills uh, for us to stay uh, on top of the technical edge, not only uh, in the company that I represent, but I think quite honestly as a country in general. So on behalf of Intermap Technologies and all of the high tech companies out there, I want to applaud you guys for really sticking to it and continuing to kind of push the edge in creative thought. Um, would also like to just kind of reach out and acknowledge the educational institutions and the universities that really embrace programs like this that are so important. And for you guys, the support structure, your teachers, the families that are supporting you and those kinds of things. So uh, you're all winners and we're counting on you. So thank you for your efforts and I would just continue to uh, encourage you guys to press forward. I hope to talk to you someday on the other side of the table when we're looking at maybe technology opportunities from a career perspective. So congratulations. Uh, 
uh, this Olympiad, uh, no matter how simple it looks, is a complex uh, event with many people contributing to its success. Uh, <clears throat> our physical plant, our media services, chancellors and vice chancellors' offices, the College of Letters, Arts and Sciences, uh, media personnel, um, it's very special to see that uh, industry, business, school districts, university, government get together to produce this for you. I especially and first of all would like to thank Margie Oldham, the manager and administrator and uh, the leader of this Olympiad who made today's award presentation possible. Uh, is this your about, what, fourth, fifth? Fifth Olympiad, so it's a fifth anniversary for Margie, and I brought a little souvenir to thank her for all that she is doing. And it's not a seasonal activity, it really is year-round activity which becomes crazy in April. Thank you, Margie. I want to thank proctors who included people from the community and teachers and faculty and staff from UCCS. Thank you, proctors. Let us give them a round of applause. <laughs> and I want to thank judges who worked for a day and a half the Friday when you were done, or at least you left after submitting your papers, judges continued to grade into the afternoon and uh, later as needed. And then met on Saturday, yes, on Saturday, the day when you have day off to continue grading and deciding on the prices. I would like judges to come here to receive their thank you and awards. Shane and Bob, please send me an email with what your choice is. Be care of it. I promise. <laughs> Two senior judges, and we have senior judge Gary. Is it what, 25th Olympiad, Bob? And yours, 25th? Bob, and yours? 23rd. Well, that's how many Olympiads they judged. 25, 23, I'll tell you, that is a commitment. Uh, 
we revisited one issue which I would like to share with you. I am thrilled to see so many of you here today. It seems like we have stand only room. Like, right, sure? And that's fabulous. Uh, but we are entering an official so called Fairview rule that starting with the next Olympiad, failure to appear at the award presentation forfeits medals, scholarships, and all other components of the first, second, third, and fourth prizes of the Olympiad. It doesn't apply to first and second honorable mention. <coughs> Exceptions may be granted only due to doc documented medical condition, which in the sole opinion of the Olympiad chair is serious enough to merit that exception. If the exception is granted by the chair, the presence of a parent or a guardian of the winner is required in order not to forfeit the award. We simply matched the London Olympic Games that are coming at the end of July. Those who don't appear on the pedestal don't get their medals sent by UPS. And we are as good as London, I'll tell you. They don't have Pikes Peak and they don't have 300 days of the sun as Colorado Springs has. The judges awarded second honorable mention that will include a Wolfram Mathematica for Students 8.0 download and the book Mathematics as Problem Solving by one Alexander Seufer. And the winners are Sorry, it's still manual labor. And the winners are, ready? Ready? Miguel Carbajal, eighth grader, Aurora Hills Middle School. <laughs> Julia Kim, eighth grader, Aurora Hills Middle School. Dominic Dunn, 8th grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Alicia Morris, 8th grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Chelsea Wick Ficken, sophomore, Rangeley High School. <laughs> Michaela Barna, 8th grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Jessica Newell Gardner, 8th grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Landry Richards, 8th grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Rachel Vincent, Seventh grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Suzanne Warald, eighth grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Tess Collins, eighth grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Jonas Bayou, seventh grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. Uh, Huyun Chang, seventh grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Kerti Vajrala, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Emma Johnson, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Kara 
Davis Machette, eighth grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Rachel Smith, eighth grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Pranit Nanda, sixth grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Tommy Gassler, sixth grader, North Star Academy. <laughs> Andres Hernan, sixth grader, North Star Academy. Whitaker Hover, <coughs> Justin Stenman, sixth grader, uh, North Star Academy, <coughs> Justin Ripley, sixth grader, North Star Academy, <coughs> Evelyn Rodriguez, Seventh grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Gwen Hildebrand, seventh grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Colton Sorby, seventh grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Nahum Tesfay, seventh grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. Casey Kaza, Junior, Edison High School. <laughs> Jason McKay, Sophomore, Edison High School. <laughs> Emily Kim, Eighth Grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Alexis Wall, Eighth Grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. Eric Frank, 8th grader, Edison Middle School. You know, when I came to the uh, auditorium where competition was taking place and looked at participants, I thought, what can this 10 years old, 11 years old accomplish? And now that we see the results, and the judges did not know any details, no name, no grades. We were grading under code. It's amazing that eighth graders, seventh grader, sixth graders did so well. That's fabulous. You started at the right time. You have many more Olympiads ahead. Come back. Congratulations. It's a fabulous result. And if you're here and haven't won the award, you may not win anything or win something higher. And so now we are presenting first honorable mention, which will include a Casio scientific calculator, the book, How Does One Cut a Triangle by Alexander Seufer, and Wolfram Mathematica 8.0 software for students download. <coughs> you know, we are a state Olympiad. <coughs> we respect the borders of Colorado drawn so elaborately with a straight edge and pencil. <coughs> but when foreigners, I mean students from other states, ask us for the opportunity to participate I just 
don't know how to say no. No, you may not participate. That would be silly. <coughs> What's the goal? Uh, we are not border patrol. <coughs> we don't check legal or illegal, except legal mathematically or illegal mathematically, <coughs> as I showed you four color theorem today. And so <coughs> we had participants uh, so, so Parna Porohit, sophomore, who came all the way from Sugarland, suburb of Houston, Texas, with his mom and dad to just participate in this Olympiad. And he won the first honorable mention. And we had three kids from Alabama that had to win their local Olympiad. And as an award, they chose to come and compete here, and that is about sixth or seventh consecutive year that Alabamans, three best Alabamans, can come here to compete, and they all won first honorable mention, and that is Alexei Pilen, Nolan Ryan Shu, and Eric Wu. Let us give our guest a round of applause. The fair view rule certainly will never apply to them. We will ship their awards to Texas and to Alabama. And now the Colorado winners of first honorable mention, Sarah Del Valle, freshman Colorado High School. <laughs> Jacob Carson, sophomore Colorado High School. Brian Healy, senior, Coronado High School. <laughs> Kobe Chan, eighth grader, Lewis Palmer Middle School. <laughs> Christine So, eighth grader, Summit Middle School. <laughs> Any relationship to Albert? No? Huh? Sister. Ah, oh. you have a daughter too, huh? <laughs> Nicholas Lin, sixth grader, Mountain Ridge Middle School. <laughs> sixth grader. Hmm. Steven Hannenberg, senior, Dorothy High School. <laughs> Morgan Peterson, eighth grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. Andrew Norton, a sophomore, Rangeley High School. <laughs> William Scoggins, junior, Rangeley High School. <laughs> Rachel Phillips, junior, Whitefield High School. <laughs> it's a Shionk, sixth grader, Aurora Quest Middle School. <laughs> Annie Lynn, junior, Rampart High School. <laughs> Nina Wendhen, eighth grader, Chest Hill Middle School. <laughs> Angela Song, Eighth grader, Mountain Ridge Middle School. <laughs> George Younger, eighth grader, Colorado Academy. <laughs> Gunnar Hogland, senior, Dorothy High School. <laughs> and Lee Quinn Peng, ninth grader, Rampart High School. Marjorie, and who said Rangeley is not coming? At least winners came. They had to come to win. You know where Rangeley is, don't you? If you draw that straight rectangle called Colorado and look at 
northwestern corner, which is almost Utah, that's where Rangeley is. And uh, they had all kind of winners here, including Aaron Parsons' first prize, who is now professor of astronomy, University of California, Berkeley. From Rangeley to Berkeley, not bad. By way of Harvard, incidentally. This time, we decided to give four fourth prizes. Why? Yeah, London doesn't give fourth prizes. It's called, you trained all your life and you didn't win. But we felt that these four people accomplished significantly more than most other winners, and we decided it would not be right to give them first honorable mention. And so, in these cases, we simply decide we'll have fourth prize. Others, like London, don't have it. It's their business. And this is our business. And so, the four, fourth prize, unfortunately, will not include the medal because we never plan in advance of having fourth prize. But it will have absolutely world's greatest Casio calculator. And I mean graphene color display, uh, graphene calculator, prism <laughs> FXCG10. <laughs> it will include a Wolfram Mathematica for students uh, 8.0 download. Uh, uh, the new book about this Colorado Math Olympiad just came out last year. Colorado Mathematical Olympiad from the peaks of Colorado, from the mountains of Colorado to the peaks of mathematics, I think I named it. It covers the first 20 years of this Olympiad with history, problems, solutions, and 20 essays, bridges, like the one I gave today as a lecture. And uh, the winners are you knew a sophomore from Rampart High School. <laughs> Sean Ong, a sophomore from Douglas County High School, Castle Rock. <laughs> Kyle Christensen, a junior from Fairview High School, Boulder, no relationship to Tom Christensen, maybe ancient relationship, we don't know. And Henry Zhang, a junior from Fairview High School of Boulder. It's not mine, it's gold, and it will go to somebody, not me. I don't qualify due to age. Sometime I wish I could compete instead of uh, organizing, but, you know, I had my share, maybe 30 Olympiads or more. Uh, we have a very unusual award this time, a creativity award. Not that any of the winners is not creative, but when I was giving a talk last month at Florida Atlantic University, I stayed at the spectacular Windham Deerfield Beach Resort Hotel, and I had a chat with general manager, uh, Julian Felder, who came to the United States in 69, in 1969 as an 18 years old refugee from Poland. And when I told him about this Olympiad, not that we didn't know each other, we've known each other for 20 years, but it's the first time I mentioned it, he gave me this. That is certificate for 
a visit for four days and three nights of this supremely expensive hotel that is located right on the beach in Deerfield Beach, Florida, uh, that is located between West Palm Beach and Fort Lauderdale. And so this is a special prize for creativity. We can give it only to one Olympian, and the judges decided to give it to Albert So. For being the one who solved problem 3B. <laughs> Albert, it's a perishable goods. It will be no good to be used on 1st of January 2013. So plan accordingly. <laughs> and now, if you haven't won, you have a shot at something higher. And the next is third prize, which will include a bronze medal of the Olympiad, a $250 scholarship that can be used at any university or four-year college, which I should have somewhere here. Let's see. Do I? Okay, I have. Then $1,000 UCCS scholarship, a chancellor's scholarship for Olympiad medalists, established by this chancellor, Pamela Shakli Zalabak. Thank you. It includes Casio Top Graphene Color Calculator Prism. It includes a choice of Mathematical coloring book by Seufer, or a new kind of science by Stephen Wolfram, the owner and founder of Wolfram Research that produces Mathematica, and Wolfram Mathematica download. And the sole third prize winner is Jesse Zang of Fairview High School, Boulder, Colorado. No ties this time, just a solo bronze medal. And uh, second prize includes, obviously, a silver medal, a $500 scholarship to any American university, a $1,000 chancellor scholarship for Olympiad medalist, Casio Prism, uh, Stephen Wolfram, A New Kind of Science, or Seufer's Mathematical Coloring Book, Software. And the winner cannot be with us. He is in Washington, D.C., as he wrote to me, defending the northern Colorado and Nebraska in National Science Bowl. I don't know what Nebraska has to do with us. But Artyom Bolshakov is a junior from Ridgeview Classical School of Fort Collins. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> and when next year he is a senior, he'll have to choose us or Washington, according to Fairview rule that entered in the effect. And we have one first prize. So you can guess who won that. 
It includes gold medal of the Olympiad, this one, a thousand dollar scholarship to be used at any certified American university or four year college, a thousand dollar UCCS Chancellor's Scholarship for Olympiad medalists, uh, a choice of mathematical coloring book, which uh, the winner already has. So I suggest a new kind of science by the great Stephen Wolfram and Software Mathematica. And the first prize winner is Albert So. This concludes the official part of the award presentation of 29th Colorado Mathematical Olympiad. Now let's have a drink. Let's have a drink, soft, in parentheses. Sorry, the age is 21, silly requirement, but it's a law. <laughs> and wonderful pastries. So join us for that, and I hope to see you on the 26th of April 2013 for the 30th anniversary Colorado Mathematical Olympiad. <laughs>